All right, today, dealing with money and decimals and how to associate money with decimals. So we're just going to start off by really looking at pennies and dimes. Now, ladies and gentlemen, obviously, I know that we can use nickels and quarters, even half dollars sometimes to make money. Okay? Ladies and gentlemen in the class, we're video recording. Can't have the noise. Okay? We're not, this isn't an, a group activity today. Thanks. All right. So what I was saying was, um, we're only going to be looking at dimes and pennies. As the change, and of course we're going to be looking at what else? What do you think would be bigger than dimes? Remember, we're not going to be talking about quarters or half dollars. Once we get ten yes. dimes, we're going to get the... Well, what's a little bit smaller than that? If I have ten dimes, how much money do I have? A dollar. Okay, you also have the dollars. Do you know when you write money, do you know what comes between dollars and then the change? So like for example, if I write... Yes, there you go. Okay. So the way you say this is obviously five dollars and sixty-three cents. Okay? But if I asked you, how could I make this amount of money using dollars, dimes, and pennies, how could I make this, obviously? You would just use five dollars, six dimes, and three pennies. Okay? And I don't even really need to ask you guys this, but how many dimes will make up a dollar? Ten. Cody? What was that? Ten. Ten. Okay, so it's going to take 10 of these to make up a dollar. And how many pennies, obviously? Lee, how many pennies? No, to make a dollar. A hundred. hundred. So, we can also look at these as place values. Okay? So these would be the ones place. Yeah. What do you think this would be? Ten. The ten. Hundred. The tenths place. And the hundreds. And then of course the, the hundred. Hundredths. Place. All right. I want you to write a number or amount of money down on your boards. Go ahead and write down seven dollars. and 14 cents. Francis, how many dimes would be in this amount of money? Good. Uh, Brandon, how many pennies would be in this amount of money? Four. Four. And Cody, how many dollar bills would you have? Seven. Seven. Okay. Now, uh, Lee, how many ones are in this amount of money? Ones. Seven. No, no, no. Just seven. Okay, this is just what you had to say. Whatever dollars you have, Lee, is how many ones you have. Okay. Uh, Cody, how many tenths do I have? On your board. Where's the tenths? Yeah, so how many dimes did you say we had? So how many tenths do we have? One. Okay, Francis, how many pennies do we have? So how many hundredths do we have? Try again. How many hundredths did we, or how many pennies did we have? Four. And how many hundredths do we have? Same thing. Okay, so don't get confused by that. Dollars are ones, dimes are tenths, pennies are hundreds. Okay? Look at this number. Okay? 
So let's practice saying this. How do we say this? $14 and 92 cents. All right. Uh, let's go back to Lee. Lee, how many dollar bills do, could I have here? 14. 14. So I have 14 dollars. How many dimes, Francis? How many dimes? Where's those dimes at? Nine. Good. Nine dimes. And Cody, how many pennies? Where's the pennies? Two. Let's see if you guys remember. How many ones, tenths, hundredths? So fill in these blanks. If I have $14, how many ones do I have? 14. 14. If I have nine dimes, how many tenths do I have? Nine. Nine. And if two. I have two pennies, I also two. have? Two. Two. Am I going to answer them? Okay. All right. Let's try one more on your board. Write this number down. Six dollars. And eighty-five cents. I want you to go ahead and write this out on your board, but change it to obviously fit your number, the new number I just gave you, the new amount of money I just gave you. So I want to see dollars and ones, dimes and tenths, pennies and hundreds. We had 80 dimes? How many dimes we have here? Just eight. You're not 80. 80 dimes? Oh boy, <laughs> that's a lot of money. We just have eight dimes, eight tenths, okay? And of course, five pennies. How many hundredths do we have? Five tenths and ones. Six. So if it's six dollars, you also have six ones. If it's eight tenths, you also have eight dimes. And if it's five hundredths, you also have five tenths. Okay? Francis, what you got? Can I go? Okay. Can I go? And Lee, how many dollar how many dollars do you have? Um six. How many dimes? 